In this Snipply review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this support tool. Snipply is a link shortener that also drives conversions through content curation. Once we log into Snipply, we come over to the dashboard. Here it shows us an overview for the past 30 days. We have our total amount of snips created, our number of clicks, our number of conversions, and our conversion rate. On the right hand side, we also have our usage, our monthly clicks used, and monthly links used. It's also worth noting that Snipply does have a Chrome extension that allows you to conveniently snip links wherever you are. As we can see here, at the moment, we don't have any call to actions. So if we just click our new call to action, here we can first select our brand or create a new one. We then can select our Snipply type. So we have to choose from button, text link, form, image ad, or hidden. I'm gonna go ahead and go for button. As we can see on the right hand side, we've actually got a preview there of what it will look like. So if we first enter our message, our button text, and then our link where we want the button to take us to. Then if you click on continue, here we can select the theme. So we can choose from social, full width, as we can see here, candy, and bean. I'm gonna go for bean, I think that's a smart look. There's then customization options, including background color, text color, button color, button text color, position, and logo. Once we're happy, we can finish CTA, and we're done. We've created our first call to action. We do also have the option here to create a link. So if we click on there, we just enter our website link, select our call to action. We can, of course, change the message again or the button text, and then we just click on snip. It then gives us a short link, which we can then copy. We do have the option to visit the link also. As we can see on the manage section, we have three options. We have brand profiles, call to actions, and Snipply links. On brand profiles here, we can see my brand profile. This is the only one that we've got. Below brand profiles is call to actions. Here we can see our one call to action. It shows us our snip amount, our clicks, and our conversions. And we do also have an option for quick snip, where you can enter a URL to add this to call to action. Next to quick snip, there is a settings button. If we click on there, we have the option to manage or archive and a small arrow, which if we click, takes us over to this page. Here, it shows us all our snips, and we do have the option as well to edit our call to action. You can also archive the call to action or create a new snip. Here, it also shows us our average pages per visit, average time on site, average time on first page, bounce rate, and email submissions. It gives us our traffic data, clicks data, conversions data, and conversions rate. Below call to actions is Snipply links. If we click on there, and here it shows us our Snipply links. Again, with the same data and analytics at the side. You do have the option to filter this for a custom amount. So you could set it for two weeks, a month, etc. Below manage is integrations. If we click on there, we can see we have app directory, RSS feeds, embedded on website and buffer. If we click on app directory, here we can see on this section, we can add service integrations to various sites. We've got Buffer, Hootsuite, Social Pilot, Edgar, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. To view integration details, you just click on the button there and it gives us information on how we can integrate this within Twitter. As it says, tweeting Snipply links has never been so simple. It also shows us there that we can add a call to action to every link we share. So if we tweeted a link, that call to action that we created earlier would show up. Below app directory, we have RSS feeds. As it says here, Snipply feeds create entire sets of automatically snipped links. So if we go on create a new Snipply feed, we can select our call to action and add a feed URL. Once we're happy there, we would just click on create feed. Below RSS feeds, we have embed on website. Here you can add a site, which will generate a code to embed Snipply on the site. You just enter your domain. Here it gives us some code, which we can copy and paste into our web page just before the body tag ends. Below embed on website, we have buffer. So here we can connect our buffer account and Snipply will automatically convert any links that you buffer into Snipply links. Below integration, we have account. 
first have team where we can enter an email and invite to the team you can also set roles as i'm the only member it's put me down as admin below team we have publisher tools here we can add a site and after we've verified ownership we can see who is snipping our site you would just enter your domain into there click on next and then verify ownership below publisher tools we have utm tags with the utm tags you can track visitor sources as it says here here you can set the utm tag value snipply will use on your snips for more details we've got a guide if you're obviously unsure you could just click onto the guide and i'll give you a tutorial and that's pretty much everything so what did I think of Snipply? Snipply made it really easy to shorten links. I love the call to action feature and how it can be easily integrated within social medias like Twitter. They also made it really easy to manage your call to actions and Snipply links. Overall, I think it's a really great support tool and I would definitely recommend. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.